Good morning everybody and welcome to this quick figure redrawing anatomy study um, and I found these amazing photo reference from the people at Ardoka Stock if I pronounce it correctly um, I found this post particularly on Twitter but they are on even art and many other art websites and you will be able to see like where they are a bit later and of course links in the description i've known them for quite a while but these two poses sort of really captured me and i wanted to sort of try to draw them um, outside of the general red it gets drawn that i've been doing which are less dynamic poses and more of a portrait kind of study in this case I just took my time and most figure drawings would be like timing in 1 minute, 5 minutes and then maybe 10 minutes but here I just took my time to just sort of see the poses and think about it as best as I can and here it's mainly to sort of trying to measure like where does the one leg um, interact and cross with the other leg and trying to measure the figure a little bit more. Here I sort of once again um, kind of struggle with the head shape a little bit and had to sort of try again and redraw it uh, multiple times especially in the jaw area. It's only later that I kind of realized that the arch on her back was not exaggerated enough and that just will come with practice a little bit more. Here in the next pose it's um, just an archery um, type pose and I tried to exaggerate it and learn from my mistakes once again and here uh, struggling a little bit with the stretched out leg in um, on the other hand and that things just don't look um, proportionate and a little bit with the foreshortening with the arm as she is pulling um, the bow outward and only at this moment where I sort of realized that mm, the body looks a little bit too big compared to her head. Um, after this sort of clip, I will sort of bring all of the photos into Photoshop just to be able to compare um, the measurements more accurately. And for now, I just sort of felt a little bit more confident with this um, image after learning like some of the mistakes that I made in the previous image so far and noticing sort of like again where is the hand in relative to the rest of the drawing in this case her hand is sort of right next to her cheek so I just started drawing the hand from that position and then understanding that oh the arm is sort of a little bit foreshortening as well so it doesn't have to be at full length though to me it felt a little bit unnatural um, as well um, lastly is the bow itself that I kind of messed up and the bow is sort of in the original image does not sort of align to her waist but it's a little bit much higher around her stomach so in that case it's a small mistake with that said we move on to the Photoshop and I have sort of arranged some lines over here and as you can see very clearly now it's like top of her head I will start from there that it seems to be um, in line quite well but if we look at the shin uh, shin right jaw line um, absolutely um, missed and her head now that I'm sort of comparing side by side is clearly um, wrong and too long um, just to add a little bit more context for the video and so let me make this brush just a little bit smaller um, I'll have to sort of observe where the line is between her jaw and her head is facing much lower down we were to use her nose as a measuring measuring tool as well it's sort of pointing down like that 90 degrees and so here it's mm, just not there this one is or the drawing that I've done is sort of like that which is um, not pointing down enough um, second part is her arm as well is sort of pointing upwards here is just not going far enough 
And then again, as I said about the arch back, it's not arching enough. But to sort of keep the video short, um, next part will be her waist and her knee. I sort of got the correct idea per se, that it's supposed to be straight, but it's again way too low and then I stretched out like her body a little bit too much because it's supposed to be arching and if I arched the back properly um, I wouldn't have made this uh, mistake in the first place and next part would be her knee that I can see sort of side by side now that is a little bit too long and then looking at the shorts well don't need to see it that much if it's already too long in the body then everything else will be too long but interesting enough when we get down to the feet and I sort of wanted to measure at the ankles um, and between her head and the ang and her bottom of the feet it seemed to be exactly correct measurement it's just that her legs are supposed to be longer while her back is arched a little bit more and maybe shorter I think and that's going to be part of the sort of learning process because I'm not entirely sure and we'll have to sort of look at it once more in the next drawing here, I think this came out much better um, than I initially expected. So first we have sort of the top part of her head, then the bottom part of her feet. It's sort of right there. And then we have sort of the middle ground of her legs is also there. And one thing would be the foreshortening of her hand is out. So I only came to realize this later when I compare side by side that the bottom of her, of her hand is on this line and let's just sort of take the shoulder here so the shoulder is sort of correct and then the head proportion is also relatively correct though I still feel like it's not wide enough and the expression is definitely not uh, correct but basically the arm is sort of pointing down too much and if I were to foreshorten it correctly it would have to be much higher here so moving this entire hand up and then don't need to draw all of this sort of arm like coming downward and I think that's sort of a reason why the bow itself also came a little bit too low and just ended up down here when it's supposed to be much higher but with that said I wanted to just add a little bit more um, detail in this one so I will sort of make the opacity lower and then just move it on top and we get to see sort of a closer comparison so I try to sort of bend her body back a little bit more to exaggerate it and then with that the head sort of shifted and then I wanted to see that how the arm works it almost looks like pretty close pretty close And then the leg is a little bit forward while the rest of the back goes back here interesting yes I did feel that this this leg was a little bit too short and then I was looking at how the fit this foot does not go behind the front leg so I stopped it here because I set the line here but then because the front leg was too large and not in the right position I ended up making the entire leg here would be the right leg too short because the left leg is too forward to the left okay I think that was a uh, video a little bit uh, long enough so I'll end it here and hope you guys sort of get to see or observe like something interesting since this is just sort of my own personal sort of development as well not entirely sort of teaching anything and maybe this will sort of help you give you an idea to sort of compare your results as well but as i said i'll see you all in the next video bye for now